I remember hearing a preacher called Graham Cook talking about a dream he had. And in this dream, he described how he was on a battlefield and um, he and the people around him were losing the battle quite badly and they seemed to be outnumbered by their enemies. And he rallied his people around him uh, for one last heroic stand in this fierce battle. And just at that moment, out of the corner of his eye, he saw a waiter. Now, this was a waiter from a high class establishment. So he was wearing ta tails and he had the dicky bow um, and uh, starched linen over his arm, silver platter um, held aloft in his hand. And this waiter came shuffling on and approached him and said, would sir be requiring the soup or the melon? For starters. And he describes how he looked at this waiter as if he had completely lost it and he said, what's going on? Look around you, can't you see the battle? Can't you see that we're, we're vastly outnumbered here and we're in deep trouble and you're asking me about a dinner order? And the waiter looked around a little and he looked back and said, mm -hmm. super melon, sir. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And your good shepherds invite you. Just picture a picnic rug spread out for you by your good shepherds. And it's crammed full of all sorts of lovely foods and is inviting you to come and to sit down and to share the feast. And so often we focus not on the feast in front of us, but the enemies around us. And you might, like the psalmist, have enemies, have people in your life that, uh, that, you, that you feel are against you, but it might just equally be that your enemies are circumstances of various sorts. It might be job or finance or health or relational or something else that is just a stumbling block in your life. And your good shepherd comes to you and says, come and relax, come and enjoy, come and taste the good things that I've given to you. And you look at your good shepherd and you say, yes, but, but, can't you see all these things that are around me? Can't you sort out these things? And then I'll be able to sit down and relax and enjoy the feast. And it's like Jesus goes, mm -hmm. yeah, come and sit down. Because you see, your good shepherd has got this. Whatever this is in your life, he has got it and you are secure and safe with him. We read in the scripture that your life is hidden with Christ in God. Whatever happens, whether it's illness or trouble or misunderstanding or pain or even the valley of the shadow of death, whatever happens, your life is safe because it is hidden with Christ in God. And so with a supreme confidence, your good shepherd invites you. He's not worried about anything. He knows the end from the beginning. So he invites you to come and to share the feast with him. There's another aspect though to that verse, to that invitation of a table spread before you in the presence of your enemies because if you if you are a follower of Jesus how do you respond to your enemies well Jesus says love your enemies Jesus supremely modeled what it means to love those who are against you to love those who even persecute you 
And you see, the table is spread before you in the presence of your enemies, partly as a sign of the security you can have in God, but partly also as an invitation. You see, Psalm 23, this most personal of Psalms, is also a Psalm which points us outwards. You know, my walk with Jesus is never intended to be just for me to enjoy in my own personal little party with Jesus. It's intended to be invitational so that others too can share the goodness that I have found. Um, and that, that table that your good shepherd spreads before you is spread as an invitation to others around you so that they see the goodness that you have found in Jesus so that they can come and taste and see that the Lord is good. So your good shepherd spreads a table before you in the presence of your enemies because he is a good God.